Oh my gosh. Hello, hello. Welcome. Good evening. How are you, everybody? Ursula, Maria Delmi, hello, how are you? Everything good? Yes, everything good? Uh huh. It's nice to have you one more time. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes or no? I hear you nice and clear. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, as you may know, we have this beautiful day, which is Monday. Monday, September. Yes. Monday, September 18th, 2023. We're going to keep working on this thing, which is pre-intermediate module number three. And as you may know, today we're going to start with section number five. Yes, uh, we're going to have our class number 13. So that means that this week we're finished with the classes, right? Yes. Don't forget to be working uh, on the exercises that you can find available here on the website, on the platform. On the platform, you will find some exercises uh, for you to practice. Yes. So go ahead and try to do it. If you need some help with those, right, uh, let me know anytime uh, so I can uh, help you with this. Okay, let me show you what's going to be today's class. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's going to be section number five. I forgot to change it. I forgot to change it. Okay. Section number five. I'm going to a soccer match. Yes, that is the title of this section. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the section is I'm going to a soccer match. Yes, we're going to work with making plans today. This is pre-intermediate English module number three, and this is class number 13. Okay, we started from the bottom, and we are here, right? So let's keep learning a little bit. Thank you so much. We are going to start right away. Let's take a look at this information. I don't know if we did it already. Let me know iPhone, iPhone. Oh Jesus, you're very fast. How, how far? Oh, so you you remember, right? So you remember this one. Okay, what about this one? Um, Facebook, Mango. Oh, very good. Thank you so much. Mango. Now it's easy for you, right? What about this one? I'm with you. Oh, I'm now with... it's now it's easy for you, right? Very good. What about this one? Thank you. This is the material we're going to work today. Okay. We're going to have this. Let me see. Esmeralda. Figueroa Serrano. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Oh, that's am... good. Look at the picture, please. Tell me. Describe yeah. the picture. What do you see? Well, I see two people talking, having a conversation. To something, I don't know. Okay. What is the woman wearing? Um, maybe a, a tablet. A tablet? I mean, she's using or she's wearing? She's using, using a table, a tablet. Using a tablet, very good. And what about, what is she wearing? She's wearing a... Here, uh, um, uh -huh. um, dress. She's a blue dress, a dress, very good. A blue dress, um, with a blouse. Blouse, black, a black blouse, blouse, very good. Black blouse. What is the name of this object here? Well, why, what? Like this one here. That is very like small. I don't see it because of the picture. Um, um back? A back? No. Um, How do what? we say cartera in English? Anybody? Wallet? No, cartera. Wallet is for men. What is Purse. your name? Purse. 
Yes, purse. A briefcase. Purse. Brief no, purse. 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 Es cartera de, pues, de mano, right? It's a purse. Okay. Handbag? No. In Esmeralda, what about the gentleman here? What is he wearing? Well, he is wearing a. Um, um, una shirt? A shirt. Shirt, probably good. Um, pants. Pants. Um, cinturon. Oh, how do you say cinturon in English? Anybody? Belt. 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 Exactly. Belt. 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 Very good. Okay. Thank you so much, Esmeralda. That was very good. Okay. Very good. So we can have the title, How to Decline an Invitation Politely. Do you understand the title of this information? How to decline an invitation politely. Yes? Mm -hmm. Ursula, do you understand this title? How to decline an invitation politely. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, sure. What kind of invitations do you have, Ursula? Um, in my case. Yeah. Um, postcard. Yeah. Um, what What are those events that people invite you to go? Um, uh, parties. Uh, like a uh, happy birthday. A birthday uh, party. Yeah. Um, graduation. Graduations. Very good. Um, like um, uh, Mary. Okay, weddings. Weddings, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And 15 birthdays, right? Those are very popular, 15 birthdays. Oh, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. it's true. Very good. So we're going to have some information about how to decline an invitation. For this one, I'm going to ask, um, please, Maria Delmi, read this information for everybody. Thank you. Go ahead. How to decline an invitation politely. A friend has invited you to go out, but you can't make can make it. Follow our follow our advice and learn how you can decline an invitation politely and keep your friend. To thank your friend, you can say thanks so much for saving me. It sounds like a lot of fun. Thanks so much for the invite to apologize and explain why you can accept, you can uh, you can say sorry, but I already have plans. Sorry, but I have something else going on that day. I'm, I'm so sorry, but I can make it. I'm really busy these days. To offer another time to do something together, you can say, this week is crazy, but let, let's shoot for next week. Maybe another time? I'm free next week. Can I take a rain check? Thank you so much. Very good. So here we have some examples, right, and some phrases that, that we can use when it comes to decline or when, when it comes to thank to somebody, right, for an invitation, or uh, to offer another time to do something together. Yeah, sometimes we're busy, or sometimes we don't just, we don't want to go out, right? <laughs> we just can't, we can use these phrases to decline those. And you can be polite, okay? Don't forget, we have this expression like, sorry, I'm so sorry, yes, or thanks. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna have some questions at the end, Luis. The first one is for you. Do you feel comfortable declining friends' invitations? Why yes or why no? Hi, good evening. <clears throat> Maybe yes, because it's declining, but amablemente. <laughs> Polite, no sé politely, dice. right? Politely. Politely. Mm, yeah, because yes. say, uh, she say, uh, 
eh, it sounds like a lot of a lot of fun. Uh -huh. O sea, como que le dice, sí, se, se oye chivo, ¿va? pero <laughs> pero no puedo. <laughs> yes, exactly, right. Sounds like a lot of fun, but but no, not today. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry, okay, I get. That's good. That's good. Exactly. Thank you so much. Very good. Then we're going to have the question. Number two is going to be for you, Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. It says, what polite ¿sí? excuses, okay? So, excusas educadas, right? Have you used? Ha usado usted, right? ¿Cuáles le funcionan? Which are effective and which ones not? Mm -hmm. Okay, no, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, just no. like that. No thanks. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, but um, I really have have plants. Oh, you already have plants. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a good one. Oh, thanks um, so much. Uh, for the invite, creo que es invitación. Invitation, so, thanks invitation. so much for the invitation. Oh, for the invite. Yes, thank you so much for the invite. Oh, very good, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing that. You see, sometimes it works, right? It works. And here, the last one is gonna be for, let me check, Sandra, Lisette. Hello, Sandra, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Bye. Sounds good. The question number three is for you. What is the best tip in your opinion and why? What? What is what, the best... What is the best tip? Like, I don't know. Um, like, excuse me? <laughs> Being busy. Um, <laughs> That's what you said. Ser sincero es decir que hay otros planes. Oh, okay. Yes, that's true, right? You can say that you have other plans. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. that means that means you're always busy. That's a good tip. Being busy. Oh, that's very good. Thank you, Being Sandra. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to have this conversation. For this one, Catherine Joana Calzadilla. Hello, Joana. Teacher, teacher, sorry. A question. La anterior, la última decía, puedo ver si está lloviendo. Can I take a rain check? Mm, that is a good expression. O es una excusa sin sentido. Like, uh, yeah, because it doesn't make sense. Can I take a rain? Any idea how, when do we use this one? Can I take a rain check? Oh, maybe, it's like maybe, um, maybe she. Uh, I mean, no, it's it's about the time, pretty much. What I can see is if you see the first one, it says, "Oh, this week is crazy, but let's shoot for the next week." So you are saying, "Oh, in a different time." In the number two, maybe another time. I'm free next week, and can I take? A rain check is an expression to communicate, oh, I'm busy, but maybe another time. Yes? Okay. So it's like an expression that goes related to refusing and communicating, uh, I'm busy now, uh, maybe another time. Yes? Okay. Or maybe next week. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. It is an idiom, something like that. Okay. Yeah. It is an idiom that, that we communicate, like, like declining something, but communicating, oh, maybe I can give you the chance, like, maybe next week, right? It's like like a possibility that it will happen. Yes? Good question, Luis. That was a good question. Yeah. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay, back to this one. Angel Isaac, hello. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, Angel. Welcome. Hi. Good evening. Nice to have you. How are you? Mm, I feel amazing. Oh, that's good. That's good. Are you happy today? 
sure I, I uh, that's, I'm, glad, I'm glad to hear that do me a favor please describe this picture how do they look like what are they wearing uh what are they are they married are they friends okay in my opinion in future and present um... oh no just just describe the picture and give your thoughts about it okay um uh, mike i i going to the no, excuse me i'm sorry i have no the, the picture the, sure. describe the, the picture. picture yes the picture here this one like um what are they wearing these people these people let's say those personas right what are they wearing que visten, right uh, how do they look like como se ven right felices angry uh worried yes um and are, are they married mm -hmm. like if they are like married or are, are they just friends yes ¿Qué cree que son ellos? ¿Son pareja o solo son cheros? Right. Mm -hmm. Ángel. Hi, coach. They look like they are a very good friend. In my opinion. Yeah, exactly. Right. Very good. Do, do they look happy? Yes. Yes. Do they look happy? They look happy. <laughs> he, um, he is nervous. Are you, are you happy? He, 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 he looks happy. But he, he looks in love. He looks in love. Oh. <laughs> that is true, right? Not too much. He looks in love. He looks like... The voice is nervous. Some... <laughs> the boy is there. Too much. The, the, the boy... The, the yes, the is... girl. Look at her face. She's very like she's extremely in love. She's extremely in love. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> she's in love. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at this one. Are you doing anything tomorrow? That is the question. Yes. Do you understand the question here on the top? Are you doing anything tomorrow? If somebody asks you, excuse me. Excuse me. Um Let's say, let me check, because I have another one here. Excuse me, Jose Antonio, are you doing anything tomorrow? ¿Entiendes la question, Jose? Si alguien viene y le pregunta, hey, Jose, excuse me, are you doing anything tomorrow? Okay, or Alejandra Elizabeth Duran, if somebody asks you, are you doing anything tomorrow? ¿Qué le corresponde? What is your answer? Mm -hmm. Alejandra? Um, maybe I, I grab. Excuse me? Maybe uh, it's okay. Or oh, me too. I Entiende. Do you understand the question? Yes. 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 No, yes, I'm exactly. going to work. Oh, <laughs> that's true, right? <laughs> that's true. Yes. Oh, I'm going to work. Yes, I'm going to work. Yeah, that, that's 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 good, right? Maybe are you going to New York tomorrow? I hope so. I hope so, right? Yes. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was too much, right? That was too much. Okay, we're gonna listen the conversation. Vamos a escuchar la conversación. Voy a poner el audio y usted. Listen and read, okay? Unit 15. What are you doing later? Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. 
So let's go around five. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, let's listen one more time. Don't worry. Unit 15. What are you doing later? Page 100. Exercise 2. Conversation. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Oh, Jesus. Cindy, Carolina, Cruz, good evening. How are you? Hello, hello, Cindy. Hello. Where are they going? Um, maybe, bueno, he wants to go with her to to see the new photo exhibit. Maybe exhibit. I don't know what is the pronunciation. I don't remember. Exhibit, and, that is but, but. Uh, she she can mm -hmm. in that day, but he asked about other day and she uh, accepted it. Okay, very good, uh, very good. Thank you so much. Yes, very good. Okay, we're gonna practice this conversation. Let me see how many do we have. Oh, not too many. Okay, okay. We're gonna have two participants, Alicia and Mike. We're gonna start with you. Maria Delmi, your partner is going to be Cindy. Okay. I need mm -hmm. you to do it just once because of the time. So, Maria, you're going to be Alicia, and Mike, that is you, Cindy Carolina. Ready? Let's okay. begin. Hey, hey, Mike, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some, some dinner. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good, the two of you. Sandra? Sandra. Hello. Thank you. And Estela Lara. Hi. Sandra. You are going to be Alicia. And Estela, you are Mike. Ready? Let's begin. Hey, hey Mike. Lo siento, guys. Estoy Me, Alicia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mike, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can't. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing are you doing anything tomorrow? We call Guten. Tomorrow sound fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. So great. Thank you so much. Sounds great. Thank you for your participation. Luis, you are going to be Mike. Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada, you are Alicia. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Mike, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much. Thanks so much for, ask, for asking. Sorry. 
thanks so much for asking. But I can, I'm, I'm going to dinner. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing, are you doing anything tomorrow? We call with them, go with them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I had class until four. So let's go around five. Okay, after work, uh, maybe we can wait some dinner. Sounds great. Thank you so much, the two of you. Very good. Kenya, Roxana. Kenya, Roxana. Sí, teacher. Kenya, you are Alicia and Mike, that is you, Isaac. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? tonight? Do you want to go see the new forest exhibit? Uh, thanks so much for asking me. <laughs> but I can't. I am going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time? Mm, are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow, some fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dining. Sounds great. Dinner, dinner. Very good. Thank you so much. Estela Lara, you are Alicia and uh, Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano, you are Mike. Ready? Let's begin. Hey, Mike, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to, so, to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but, but I can. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow, some time. I have class until four. So let's go around fine. Okay, after uh, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Sounds great. Thank you so much, the two of you. Very good. Uh, Cindy? You did it right already. Edgardo? Edgardo? Hi. Edgardo, you are Mike. Alejandra Elizabeth Duran? Yes. I'm ready. Alejandra Elizabeth Duran? Okay. Yeah. You are Alicia. Okay. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Hey, Mike. What do you do it tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can. I'm going to have dinner with me, with my parents. Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go around five. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Thank you so Some much. Good. Thank you so much, the two of you. Uh, Jose, can you participate? Jose Montes. Hello, okay. Thank you. You are Mike <laughs> Ursula. You are Alicia. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Uh, I'm Mike. Ursula. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Perfect. No problem. Hey, Mike. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much for asking me, but I can. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow, 
Sounds fine. I have class until four. So let's go. Have a fun. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Let me check the chat. Okay. Uh, Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Yes, teacher. And Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez, you are Alicia, and Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez, you are Mike. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Hey, Mike, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go see the new photo exhibit? Thanks so much. So, asking me about the I can. I'm going to have dinner with my parents. Oh, well, maybe some uh, some other time. Are you going anything tomorrow? We go go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I have class until until four. So let's go around five. Okay, after a while, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Sounds great. Very good. All of you. You're doing a really nice job. If you mistake some pronunciation, people. And that's very good. Keep practicing like that because like, like you're doing it very good, all of you. Thank you so much for practicing and thank you so much for doing it. That's very good. Fantastic. I will take the attendance when you hear your beautiful name, say present or I'm here, okay? Alejandra Elizabeth Duran Ramos. Alejandra okay. Elizabeth Duran Ramos. I'm here. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Welcome. Alejandra Maria Mejia Avelar. Presente, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. It's nice to have you. Eh, Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Eh, Ángel Isaac Cibrián Bonilla. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you, gentlemen. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Blanca Estela Lara Lopez. I'm here teacher. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. Um, Elba Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano. Elba Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Welcome. Um, oh, Jesus. Edgardo de Jesus Maldonado Maldonado. I'm here. Thank you, gentlemen. It's nice to have you one more time. Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. Present, mister. Thank you so much and welcome. Jose Antonio Montes Fuentes. Present, teacher. Gentlemen, good evening. Nice to have you. Catherine Joana Casadilla Alas. Present, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you one more time. Welcome. Kenya Rosana Ayala de Velázquez. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank nice you. to have you. Thank Luis you. Luis Miguel Mejia Alas. Present teacher. Nice to see you one more time, gentlemen. Maria Delmi Hernández de Montoya. I'm here. Thank Good you evening. so much for being here. Sandra Lizeth Elizondo Merino. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Nice to have you one more time. Cindy Carolina Cruz de López. Here. Wonderful, Cindy. It's nice to have you one more time. Ursula Yamilet Cornejo Martinez. Yes, I'm here. Oh, that's very good. Jesus, let me check. Oh my gosh. Everybody is here. That's wonderful. I love it. You you did it. Look at this one, I'm right? Wondering. Yes, we did it. We can play there as well, right? I'm <laughs> but soon, <laughs> but you two will ban us, right? Yeah, so <laughs> we're not allowed to play that. Okay, so uh, yes, all of you here. That's it's nice to meet you all. I don't see your faces because your cameras are off, but it's my pleasure. Okay, it's nice to have you all here. <laughs> okay, okay, let's continue. We're gonna have the part B of this conversation, and I want you to pay. Sounds great. Unit to this audio. We're gonna have these four questions. Well, not four. I think we have three. Where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? Oh, that is one question. And the other number two is, 
who are they going to meet for dinner? These two questions van a ser la respuesta en el audio. So I need you to listen the audio and write the answer. Yes, I will play the audio three times so you can recheck your answer, okay? Do you understand, Andrea Esmeralda Flores? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Here we go. Page 100, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet for dinner? After the exhibit, do you want to go to the Korean house for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around seven. Look, there's Garrett. Maybe he can join us. Yeah. Hey, Garrett. What are you doing tomorrow after class? Do you want to go to a photo exhibit with me and Mike? Then dinner at the Korean house? We're meeting at five. Oh, I have class till 6.30. But why don't I meet you for dinner later? Can you text me the address? Sure. Page 100. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet for dinner? After the exhibit, do you want to go to the Korean house for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around 7. Look, there's Garrett. Maybe he can join us. Yeah. Hey, Garrett. What are you doing tomorrow after class? Do you want to go to a photo exhibit with me and Mike? Then dinner at the Korean house? We're meeting at 5. Oh, I have class till 6.30. But why don't I meet you for dinner later? Can you text me the address? Sure. Page 100. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are Alicia and Mike going to have dinner? Who are they going to meet for dinner? After the exhibit, do you want to go to the Korean house for dinner? Sure. I love their food. We can go around 7. Look, there's Garrett. Maybe he can join us. Yeah. Hey, Garrett. What are you doing tomorrow after class? Do you want to go to a photo exhibit with me and Mike? Then dinner at the Korean house? We're meeting at 5. Oh, I have class till 6.30. But why don't I meet you for dinner later? Can you text me the address? Sure. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so question number one. Where are Alicia and Mike, Alicia, and Mike going to have dinner? What is the answer? Anybody? They are going to go to the Korean house. Very good. Exactly. They are going to have dinner at the Korean house. Very good. And what about the number two? What, who are they going to meet for dinner? For a They go to for a Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're going to have who. Who? Remember who? Esta palabra who, para que lo ocupamos? Yeah. Person. Para exactly. Para people, right? Entonces, en la yeah. respuesta nos tiene que dar un humano. Garrett. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. María. Garrett. Garrett. Exactly, Garrett. right? They are going to meet Garrett, Garrett for okay. dinner. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Their yeah. friend. Their friend, Gary. Garrett. Okay. Very good. Page one. We're going to have this uh, exercise. Match the columns A and B and then write the names of the events, right? So let's take a look of this vocabulary. Luis, please read the vocabulary first. Column A and then column B, please. Thank you. Okay. Ba baseball, birthday, car, class, medical, rock, tennis, appointment, concert, game, match, party, Race, reunion. Reunion. 
Re reunion. Very good. There you go. There you go. Reunion. Very good. Entonces, Very cuando good. ocupamos estas dos palabras together, mire, pues ocupamos un solo meaning. Baseball game. Okay, so we combine these two words to have one, right. one related, right? What about the other one? Okay, you told me birthday. Birthday. Oh, birthday. Oh, do you like birthday parties? Yes, right. Everybody yeah. loves them. What is the next one? Car race. Car race. Car race. Car race. Very good. Thank you. What about the next one? Last match. Last match. Last match. Last match. I'm match. sorry, that is incorrect. Class reunion. Oh, Gabriela. Very good, Gabriela. Yes, you got it. Class reunion. Very good. Okie dokie. Yes, class. Oh, Jesus. Oopsie. Oh, class reunion. Very good. What about number five? Medical, Medical appointment. appointment. Exactly. Very good. Medical appointment. The rock concert. Rock concert. Oh, very good. Rock concert. And the last one? Tennis, Tennis match. match. Tennis match, right? Tennis match. match. I think uh, much, very good, okay? So please do me a favor, Estela Lara, and read this vocabulary here, column number three, this one. Baseball mm. game. Nothing. <laughs> ah, bird party, bird ride party. Mm -hmm. Car, car race. Yes. Class reunion. 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 Re Re Medical appointment. Very good. Rock concert. Yes. Tennis match. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. So let's carry on with another exercise. Well, it's not an exercise. It's a video about the grammar content. So listen, watch, and take notes. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. 
These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement, and if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Okay, there is something that I would like to share with you, which is this part. Okay, if you see this part, in, in the video, we got two ways of communicating the future. Tenemos varias formas de comunicar el future, right? Pero aquí in this class, we're working with two. The first one is present continuous, and the other one is future with going to. Yes, so we have these two. El present continuous lo utilizamos with plan actions in the future or you are certain that something is going to happen in the future. Yes? Okay. And la otra diferencia con el present es que lo siguiente, right? Making predictions, we do not use the present continuous, rather we use going to. Okay? Entonces, ¿sí? El number one, que es el present continuous, va aquí, ¿eh? Plan actions in the future. You are certain that that thing will happen. Let me show you some Something examples. Is going here, tenemos, right, this present continuous future and B plus going to, okay? The grammar structure cambia un poquito, right? Si usted se fija, aquí tenemos going to. What is she going to do? She's going to see a play. Are they going to see? Y aquí solo decimos, what are you doing tonight? Are you doing tomorrow, Okay. Use the present continuous to talk about something that is happening now. What are you doing? I'm studying. You can also use the present continuous with time expressions to talk about the future. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm working. Yes. Y luego we're going to, to talk about the future. I'm going to see all school oh, friends tomorrow. See? Ahora, el present continuous no lo podemos utilizar todo el tiempo para el future. En cambio, el be going to, pues en la mayoría de casos, cuando tenemos planeado something, yes, we can use that one. ¿Ok? El present continuous es pretty much cuando algo, pues, ya está planeado. Right. For example, si usted le pregunta, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm working, me dijo alguien por ahí. Yes. Usted tiene planeado que pues mañana, oh, de modo, le toca aquí echarse esos 100 mil dólares, right? Yeah, so you're ready for tomorrow. Prepare su lunch and vaya a triunfar, right? Never give up. Yes, never give up. Let's keep, keep moving. Entonces, el schedule, pues usted ya lo tiene. Usted sabe que tomorrow you're working. Yes, right? Or for example, y se le preguntan, hey, what are you doing this week? Is it present continuous or is future with going to? Mm -hmm. Si usted le preguntan, what are you doing this week? ¿Qué es eso? Present continuous or future with going to? Present continuous. Present continuous. Present continuous. Entonces viene usted ya planeó que vería el de camera o oh, I'm going to the camera. Yes, I'm going to the beach. Right? <laughs> o si usted tiene su hijo ahí que le va a celebrar el birthday party, I'm going to have a party. Yes, going to have a party. Or, 
and having a party in the context, right? Porque ya lo tiene agendado. So, entonces, what are you doing this weekend? I'm having a party. Yes. Ahora si le preguntan, what are you going to do? También puede contestar, I'm going to do a party. We are going to have a party. Vamos a ver algunos examples. Here tenemos el schedule. Mire, este es Don Joe. Este es Don Joe, right? Calendar. Write about his plans. Use the present continuous. Vamos a utilizar el present continuous acá. Eso es lo que nos dan. ¿Cuáles son el vocabulary, Gabriela? Ayúdeme a leer todo el vocabulary que está en esta information, please. Thank you. Desde aquí, calendar. ¿Qué sigue? Calendar day. Ay, no lo alcanzo a ver. Pero me voy a engrandecerlo. Okay. With mom year. March, Sunday, uh, for afternoon, play tennis with bro, bro. <laughs> Monday, I attended managers meeting at at work. Th Tuesday, Tuesday, six. Um, 6 6 p.m. Yeah. See a movie with An Angela. Yes, very good. Okay. Wednesday seven seven night watch the soccer match with any and book. Bob. No. Bob. Thursday. Thursday. Eight eight noon have lunch. With Paco. With Don Paco, exactly. Friday. Friday. Night, Friday. Night evening. And go to the rock concert with friends. Very good. Saturday, 10. Stay home and do laundry. Laundry, very good. Okay, entonces vamos a empezar. Like in the example, right? On Saturday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, aquí dice, mire, Joe is going to play tennis with Brooke. What about, ¿cómo sería la number two? Anybody? Uh, on Monday. Mm -hmm. On Monday. On Monday morning. Lovely. Um, Monday, Joy, Joy, Joe, Joe, very good. Going to, is going to attend the manager. He's going to attend the manager. The meeting manager. The manager is meeting at work. The meeting manager is meeting at work. The manager is meeting at work. Meeting at work. Meeting. Mm. Okay, very good. Jesus. On Monday, Joe is going to attend the manager's meeting. At work. At work. Oh, you got it. Very good. This is number two. So let me move it a little bit here so you can see it better. Yay. Very good. Thank you. What about the number three? Um, on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday, you told me. On Tuesday, yo, yo, yo. On Tuesday, no, but uh, you need to give me the schedule. On Tuesday. Night. No. At six. Oh, very good. At six. Six. Very good. Mm -hmm. What is next? Yo. Very good. He's going to see a movie. Yo is going to see a movie. Yeah, movie with Angela. Yes. To see Angela. Okay, I think I think that's all right. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
falta Y una sí. E, teacher. No, pues sí. 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 Oh, yes, thank you so much. Very good. Yeah, very good. Thank you. So look at this one. The number three is on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Joe is going to see a movie with Angela. Very good. Thank you. What about the number four? On Wednesday night. On Wednesday night. Join. Is going to watch soccer match Joy with on a Wednesday to night. You told me right. Yeah. Joe. Joe is going to watch the soccer match with any of Very above. good. Is going to watch the soccer match. Uh, oh, the, the soccer, soccer match, match with any and Bob. Bob. Annie. Okay, Annie. And Bob. Annie. Oh, let me and check. Bob. Yes, Annie and Bob. Bob, Bob square pants, right? No? Yeah. Square pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's something that somebody else. That's somebody else. Okay. Thank you. Very good. On Wednesday night, Joe is going to watch the soccer match with Annie and Bob. Very good. Yes, what about the number five? On Thursday, 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 Joe going to have lunch with Paco. Oh, very good. Lunch. Take lunch. With Paco. He's going to have lunch with Paco. With Paco. Oh, with Don Paco, right? Yes, very good. De persona N Oh, yes, lunch. Thank you so much, Gabriela. Oops. Just a little thing, right? Créame que a veces just one letter hace la gran diferencia. Yes, it's one letter. It's huge. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. On, on Thursday at noon, uh, Joe is going to have lunch with Paco. Thank you. What about the number six? On Friday night. On Friday. No, on Friday night. No. On Friday night. No, I'm sorry. Evening. Yes, evening. Very good. Yeah, evening. 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 John. Evening. Joe is going to go to the rock to the rock concert. Oh, look at that one. The rock concert. Okay. With friends. Just like this one? Yeah. Let me correct. It. Let me let me know if I have a mistake. On Friday evening, Joe is going to rock concert with friends. Yay! Fantastic. Very good. And what about the last one? Um, Saturday. John is going to stay home. And on Saturday. Like... On Saturday, Joe. Very good. Joe, Joe. is going stay. to going to He's stay going at home. home and do laundry. He's going to stay and home and do laundry. And do laundry. Laundry. Let me check mistakes. No mistakes. Hmm? If you no. see a mistake, let me know. Uh, on Saturday, Joe is going to stay at home and do the lunch. Okay, very good. I think we don't have a mistake, right? Yes, I think everything is good. Very good, people. Great job. And and again, I told you before, my favorite verb is the verb to be. Esa cosa del verb to be siempre va ahí. En básico, yeah. en intermedio, en avanza. Créame, is, is there. So learn verb to be. Parece piece of cake, right? Coffee con hojitas. It's like that. Okay. Pero, créame que sometimes we forget how do we use the verb to be. 
Yes, so and, and it helps us a lot. It helps us a lot when it comes to communicate something in English. Here, we are talking about the future or the past, Gabriela. Noemi? This is the future or the past? It's Excuse me. This Can is the, the future or the past, Gabriela. El futuro o el pasado. This is the future or the past. Future. Future. Exactly. This is about the future. What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow, Luis? I'm going to work. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Very good. Yes, that's very good, right? Perfect. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Are you having breakfast tomorrow, Demi? Yeah. Having breakfast tomorrow? Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> that's the first thing in the morning, right? Thank you so much for being here. Good night, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you so much for everything. Great see job. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Perfect. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much.